What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to talk about centering intervals about a point and we need to find out delta. Finding delta is very important if you want to find out the precise limit. Let's see an example. For example, in this example it says find the value of delta when delta is greater than zero such that for all x values the absolute value of x minus x naught is between zero and delta and given x naught is a point on the interval of a b for example the first one it says a is one b is seven x naught is five so basically in this case i need to find out the value of delta I'm gonna say x minus x naught has to be less than delta which in this case x naught is 5 so x minus 5 is less than delta which means that x minus 5 is between delta and negative delta and in order to find out x we need to add 5 to each side so it's going to be 5 minus delta x 5 plus delta and now we need to find out the interval 5 plus delta equals to 7 and 5 minus delta equals to 1 and if we find out two different values for delta we're going to have an asymmetrical interval. So basically, we need to find out the smaller one. So in this case, delta is going to be 7 minus 5, which is going to be 2. And in this case, it's going to be 5 minus 1, which is going to be 4. And since the smaller one is 2, we're going to say that delta is 2. That's how we find. Next one. is when a is 1 b is 7 and x naught is 2 now let's find out this one it's gonna give me x minus x bar less than x naught and less than delta then we can say that since x naught is 2 so it's gonna be x naught x minus 2 is gonna be less than delta so x minus 2 is between negative delta and positive delta then we add each side by 2 it's going to be 2 minus delta here you have 2 plus delta now 2 plus delta is supposed to be 7 2 minus delta is supposed to be 1 so delta is 5 the other one is going to be 1 so the smaller value is 1 so that's going to be the acceptable one for next one a is negative 7 over 2 b is negative 1 over 2 and x naught is negative 3 so we can say that x minus x naught supposed to be less than delta which means that x minus negative 3 less than delta which is going to be x plus 3 less than delta so we have x plus 3 lower than delta and greater than negative delta then we subtract 3 from both sides so it's going to be And then you're going to say negative delta minus 3 equals to negative 7 over 2. And delta minus 3 equals to negative 1 over 2. So that would be negative delta 3 minus 7 over 2 is going to be negative 1 over 2. Which means that delta is 1 over 2. And here delta is 3 minus 1 over 2 is going to be 
2, 1 over 2. So we have two different numbers. We need to stick to the smaller one. So the smaller value is delta equals to 1 over 2. Now next one is next one a is negative 7 over 2 b is negative 1 over 2 and x naught is negative 3 over 2 so in that case I'm gonna say again x minus x naught less than delta so it's gonna be x minus negative 3 over 2 less than delta which means that x plus 3 over 2 is between delta and negative delta which is going to be x delta minus 3 over 2 negative delta minus 3 over 2 so we have negative delta minus 3 over 2 equals to negative 7 over 2 and delta minus 3 over 2 equals to negative 1 over 2 so here negative delta equals to negative 7 over 2 plus 3 over 2 is going to be negative 4 over 2 which means that delta is 2 here is delta 3 over 2 Minus 1 over 2 is going to be 2 over 2, which is 1. So delta is going to be 1. And the smaller value is delta equals to 1. Because 1 is smaller than 2. Next one, A is... 4 over 9 B is 4 over 7 and X naught is 1 over 2 so you can say X minus X naught the absolute value of them it's going to be less than Delta so X minus 1 over 2 less than Delta so x minus 1 over 2 is between negative delta and positive delta. And then we add half to each side. It's going to be delta plus 1 over 2, negative delta plus 1 over 2. And then we have negative delta plus 1 over 2 equals to 4 over 9. Delta plus 1 over 2 equals to 4 over 7. So, Delta is going to be 1 over 2 minus 4 over 9, which will be 18, 9 minus 8, 1 over 18. And the other one is Delta 4 over 7 minus 1 over 2 is going to be 8 minus 7 which is 1 over 14 so between these two 1 over 18 is smaller so the smaller value is 1 over 18 next one is a is 2.7591 B is 2.3.2391 X naught is 3 so we can say X minus X naught is less than Delta so it's going to be X minus 3 less than Delta so X minus 3 is between Delta and negative Delta so X is between 3 plus delta and 3 minus delta we have 
3 minus delta equals to 2.7591. 3 plus delta equals to 3.2391. So that's going to be 3 minus 2.7591. 3 minus 3.2391 3 minus 3. So that's going to make it as. I need the value 3 minus 27591 is going to be 0 0.2409. And here, that's going to be. 0.2391 which the second one is smaller so the smaller value is delta equals to 0 0.2391 so that's how we find out the delta when we are talking about centering intervals about a point and this is the basis for finding the precise value of limits limits of functions I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question. Thank you for watching and have a great day.